So we're gonna come right down onto the knees. Now, some of my friends have a little bit of a hard time on the knees. And for this, I always like to remind you, you can just roll the yoga mat over once and put your knees on top, because we're just gonna be staying still. And this little extra padding will go a long way. Um, so then once you're there, come onto hands and knees for a second and just take the knees wide, like at least as wide as your ears. I always like to imagine more space than less. You don't really wanna do this. This isn't gonna give us a lot of um, flexibility or strength and stability. So we're gonna go here, pressing into the knees, the feet that are reaching and anything that is down on the ground. Inhale, breathe the body nice and high, reach the arms up long aside the ears, palms facing each other. Gently look up with the eyes and chin, soften the jaw. Press into the knees and reach your wrists even higher. And then hands down our prayer, exhale. I always like to shake my head a little. One more time, inhale, arms up high. You can let the palms spread apart. Bring the palms back together and interlace your fingers. Make a little square around the head so your neck and head are free. And then send the arms nice and high above. From here, we're gonna take the index fingers and just reach, reach, reach to the right as far as I can and be able to gently look up and down with my neck. Holding that for a breath. And then exhale, back to the middle. Now I'm gonna take my fingers and go the opposite way to my left now, just as far as I can, so I can still move my head and neck. And I'm balanced, I feel strong, no strain of pain. One more breath. Reaching wrists really far, then inhale, exhale. Whew. Bring the arms back down to prayer. Shake the head no. For this part, bring your hands right down in front for a little balance. First, we'll take that left leg long out beside us. Mine's going to be a little diagonal because I have an injury here. But otherwise, your foot would be sort of more parallel with the mat. Once you're there, find stability and balance here so you're not going to fall. Make sure you're balanced. And then we'll just start again. Take a breath, pressing into the feet, into the knees. Inhale, reach arms up nice and high. Looking up between the hands, relaxing the face and jaw. Interlace fingers, just gently to the left. Another breath, gently to the middle. Other way, to my now right. And then back to the middle. Let the arms come down, let this arm land on the leg. And as you do that, reposition, so that now that foot is pointing face out toward the mat, almost like if we were standing in warrior two. So from here, my hip is open, and I'm just gonna sink into that just a little. And as I bend my knee, I'm imagining and looking and guiding my knee in the direction of my pinky toe. Anytime, no matter if you're standing or sitting, you always want to remind the body and program your body to bend toward that pinky toe because that's going to support your knee. That's not going to let the weight fall into an inappropriate space and cause damage. And of course, if you already have some condition in your body or like for myself, a different ability on this side and that doesn't apply, then this doesn't apply. But for the most of us, this is what will work. Just a couple times here, and then we're gonna come back to the middle with our hands and bring that foot back up underneath the foot again. Take a couple wiggles with the knees, and then just take that other foot nice and long. This foot, it's easy for me to be parallel because it's a more normal foot. My other one doesn't have that many ankle bones, so rotating is like weird. Um, so here again, I'm gonna stabilize, make sure I balance. I'm gonna give myself a little more room. You want to be nice and open and long, but not falling. Pressing that now right foot long into the mat, deep into the mat, knee into the mat. Inhale, scoot up. Interlace fingers, head and neck are free. Arms and fingers and wrists way high above my crown. Gently reach, reach, reach to the right. Head and neck are still free. Back to the center, exhale. Opposite way now to my left. Up and down my neck. A breath and then back to the middle of arms, come down. And then here we'll just um, carefully guide that foot again, just like we did the last time. Pivot that ankle, point my toes now to the right of the mat, maybe draw on in a little, and gently folding that knee, bending the knee toward my pinky on this side. 
just another way to sort of open the hips um, with a little less, just another way to do it. Let's just keep it there. Couple of pulses on this side, and then hands back down to the bottom, knees on the mat. Take your feet, bring your toes together, and take your feet a little wider. Sit in that spot, bring the front body down a little, and just rest here or here. You can do two fists on top of each other and rest here. But just try to let your body and the your spine sort of sit into the opening of your pelvic bowl here. So this is our child's pose. You can come all the way down if that feels good to you. If all the way down isn't good, I like to do two fists at my third eye. And sometimes I'll just keep my forearms here and just give myself the break here. And wherever I am, sort of soften the neck Soften round the back. Anytime that we go one way with our yoga, we want to go the other way too, just to keep everything fluid and juicy, you know? You don't want to leave any parts undone. And then just gently sit the body back up. Let me know how it goes. Bye.